marsupials, exciting cities, warm temperatures. From a German point of view, Australia is a very desirable destination, especially for studying. And Melbourne, as the world's most livable city, may be at the top of the list. This is Karlsruhe in the southwest of Germany. A very recent study shows this city with a population of about 300,000 is one of the youngest, most innovative and livable cities in Germany. So both Melbourne and Karlsruhe have a lot to offer. But how can young students from Melbourne or Karlsruhe experience both cities without losing time in their studies? These two professors had a great idea for a project in which students from both Melbourne's renowned RMIT University and Karlsruhe's University of Applied Sciences can profit. Christian Karnutsch and Arnon Mitchell met as colleagues in Australia and are experts for tiny biosensors. Professor Karnutsch, for example, is the director of the Institute IONAS in Karlsruhe. We beschäftigen uns hauptsächlich mit optischen Biosensoren, miniaturisierten Biosensoren, die eingesetzt werden sollen, so in Richtung medizinischer Analytik. Wir arbeiten zum Beispiel an einem Blutanalysegerät, was eben klein und portabel sein soll. Und viele unserer Arbeiten drehen sich um Mikrofabrikation, Nanofabrikation und eben auch die Mikrofluidik. Wie bekomme ich die Flüssigkeiten, die ich analysieren will, dorthin, wo ich sie brauche, um sie dann mit Licht zu analysieren und die Wechselwirkung auszunutzen. Das macht Jonas. Back to the exchange idea. A couple of years ago, Germany's Christian Karnutsch and Australia's Arnon Mitchell started a program for young experts in this field called SCON. SCON stands for Study Center for Optofluidics and Nanophotonics. So in the SCON exchange program, these five students based at the so-called Hochschule Karlsruhe and RMIT got together in a slightly different way than usual. RMIT has a lot of connections where they send students uh, around the world, but um, generally those students will go and do a project overseas and then it'll end and then they'll come back and return to their student life at RMIT. In SCON, we have a project that spans uh, six months in Germany and six months at RMIT and actually involves the students with German students who will return with them to Australia. And so this continuity of having this project that sort of spans both organisations over a year and also engages people from both sides, I think that's That's something unique. Ich nenne das immer die Scon-Familie. Also diese beiden Elemente arbeiten an einem Forschungsprojekt und Teil eines größeren Ganzen zu sein. Das stellt es eigentlich heraus. Und die Sprachbarriere für die Australier ist auch reduziert oder nicht existent. Im Labor spricht man Englisch und ja, eine Brezel beim Bäcker bestellen klappt danach auch relativ schnell. All five participants in Scon work, according to their bachelor or master courses, on practical assignments, like in an internship. Not always individually, but also together. Yeah, I definitely profit from working in a team environment. So uh, I guess, you know, many hands make light work. So if I have a problem sitting in a group environment, it actually helps. I just ask questions around the room and usually someone can help me because there's a broad range of skills in the room. So it's, uh, yeah, it's quite nice. And I think because our projects interlink, um, everybody sort of knows what's going on. And um, yeah, it's really easy to exchange knowledge, which is nice. While the Australian bachelor students are able to have their first practical work experience here, the German students enjoy the excellent facilities and research networks at RMIT, a university with about 10 times more students than the University of Applied Sciences in Karlsruhe. Das sind auch die Möglichkeiten der Forschung ganz anders und deswegen ist es natürlich eine Chance, dort auch sich Sachen anzueignen, die eben jetzt hier nicht möglich sind. Das SCON-Projekt ist eine Riesenchance, sich zu entwickeln als Student, als Person, einfach ähm, mehr in die Wissenschaft, in die Forschung selber einzutauchen. Das war für mich ein Riesenpunkt, weil ich eigentlich im Bachelorstudium aus dem Managementbereich stamme und mich dann aber bewusst schon beim Master für ein Programm entschieden habe, das ein bisschen mehr Optionen öffnet, mich mehr in die technische Welt einblicken lässt, auch die Forschung mal kennenzulernen und da war natürlich das SCON-Programm perfekt. Quite a few SCON students have gone on to do a PhD degree at RMIT or have worked scientifically in some other way in Australia, usually with the help from the SCON family. I think the SCON program is a really good place to build connections and gain your confidence as an individual going into research. I think there's a very good community and support network here and that's really helpful and beneficial to be supported in your research and feel like you're giving to a community rather than just working as an island. 
The network does not just consist of students, alumni and professors. Also, companies can have an input. The latest sponsor was Burkhardt Fluid Control Systems, but new prospective partners are welcome to join in. Wenn sich Firmen an SCON beteiligen, dann haben sie natürlich den Vorteil, dass sie a einen enormen Pool, einen Zugriff auf sehr motivierte, sehr gute Studierende haben, sowohl aus Australien als auch aus Deutschland. Das bringt vor allem dann für eine Firma was, wenn sie vorhat, sich in Australien niederzulassen oder schon aktiv ist. Gleichzeitig haben wir festgestellt, Brand Awareness, also die Tatsache, dass jemand die Firma überhaupt kennt, ist ein unschätzbarer Vorteil, weil man hat diesen Multiplikator. Weiterer Vorteil ist, man kann konkret Projekte platzieren. Man kann sagen, dieses und jenes Projekt liegt mir im Herzen, aber wir haben intern die Ressourcen nicht. Und dann hat man natürlich die Gelegenheit, motivierte Studierende Vollzeit darauf anzusetzen, die dann daran arbeiten und da kommt ziemlich viel raus dabei. Also wir haben auch schon sehr viele Publikationen erreicht, also wirklich gute Journals, gute Publikationen, die aus Arbeiten von den Studierenden, von SCON-Leuten rauskamen. New collaborations with other universities besides RMIT and the Hochschule Karlsruhe as SCON partners are also forming. Students from two other German universities have already taken part and further Australian unis may also join soon. Of course, life for a SCON student isn't all work in the lab. There is enough to see and do in the two SCON cities Melbourne and Karlsruhe, although some things may be a bit different from home. Well, I've, I ride a bike here. <laughs> Not many people ride bikes in Australia. Um, so I, I love how everyone rides their bikes here and it's been fun. I mean, you experience a whole different world here. I, I personally gained independency and confidence along with gaining things in regards to my, my program, my degree. You meet new people, you see how other people work. It's just a completely different environment. I mean, it's just been a great experience here. Yeah. And just in case the Aussies miss the sight of animals from down under, the zoo in Karlsruhe has a few emus and kangaroos. <laughs>